boys and girls. Welcome back to another great day of learning at the beach. Yes, we're back together. Do you see all of the sand at our beach? I hope that you are getting to have a wonderful time at your home too, pretending that you're at the beach. Look at Max. Max is loving the beach. He just, he put on his swim trucks because he wants to go swimming in the ocean. He's got his hat on his head and his sunglasses. He's enjoying the sun. Max, you look like you are just so relaxed and so chilling. He's chilling. He's relaxing. <laughs> oh, Max, you just have a good time. Well, you know what? I don't really want to disturb Max. So, hey, Max, do you want me to check the schedule for you today? Okay, you just you just hang out right there. The first thing we're going to do today, guys, is calendar time. Uh huh. And when calendar time is finished, we're going to read a book about something you might see at the ocean. Okay. In fact, someone in your family may have even seen or been on this. Oh, what could that mean? We're going to have to find out. So for calendar time, let's go ahead and get the board out. And let's see. I think I'm going to move a little bit closer to you so you can see this really well. So the month is May. Uh huh. And in May, we've been learning about the ocean. Yes, and animals that live in the ocean. And now we know about a place at the ocean, the beach, where you can play in the sand. Um, today, we're going to learn about something that goes in the water, and it's not an animal. Mm, let's find out. So, guys, yesterday was Thursday, and Thursday is finished. Today is Friday. We have had one, two, three, four, five five great days of learning this week. We need the number that comes after 14. I hear the word, I'm going to say 14 again. So I hear the word that kind of sounds like four when I say 14. That helps me to know that the number that comes after 14 is 15. A one and a five make 15. Way to go. So tomorrow is going to be the weekend. Ooh, I wonder what you're going to do at your house with your family. Hmm, maybe you get to play outside. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe you'll make a beach and you'll play outside on your beach. Or maybe you'll get to play with your friends. That would be fun. I know something that I need to do this weekend. I need to mow my grass. It's getting too tall. I'm going to need to make it shorter. And that's a job that I definitely need to do this weekend. <laughs> hey, let me hear about all of your weekend plans too, okay? Um, let's say goodbye to calendar time. Goodbye, calendar time. Now it's, oh, the sand, my foot just got in the sand and oh, it is nice and cold. I love it. Calendar time is finished. It's now time to read a book. Before we read a book, let's just think about our words one more time that we've been learning about the ocean. Okay, I want you to find the picture of an animal that lives in the ocean with really sharp teeth. You're right, it's the shark. Okay, find another animal that has lots of long legs. Lots of long legs and it's smooth. It's the Octopus, you're right. Okay, now let's think of the opposite of smooth. Find the animal that has five legs, arms, and it's rough. 
It's the starfish. Okay, one last word for you to think about. Find the picture of something that is wet and it is very, 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 very large. Wet. So if it's wet and it's very large, is that an animal? No, I don't think so. It's a place. What's that place? It's the ocean. Okay, I want to ask you a question. Why is the ocean wet? Hmm. Oh, yeah, because it's made out of water and water is wet. Yeah, way to go. Okay, so we know about those words. Now, it's time, it's time to read a book. And this book is called, the title is called Boats. And it is written by Byron Barton, uh-huh. And the publisher is Harper Festival. And when you go to the ocean, you can see boats. And look, I have some boats right here. Yeah, these are toy boats. Yeah, it's a boat. Oh, and here's another boat. This is a boat that on the ocean, it would go maybe find people. Yeah. Um, oh, here's another boat. Yeah. So the boat. There are different types of boats, and our book is going to tell us about that. Someone in your family, you could ask them a question. You could say, have you ever been on a boat? Because there's some special boats called cruise ships, and uh, they are super cool. They're really, really, really big. They're bigger than our entire school. Yeah, and lots of people can be on them. And there's lots of fun things to do like swimming pools and, and places, restaurants to eat lots of yummy food. And there's lots of things to do on a boat. There's even stores on a boat. It's that big. You could ask your family, have you ever been on a boat? And if they have, you gotta tell me because that's super exciting. Okay, let's read some more about boats. I think I might want, I think I want to move my beach towel a little closer to you. Wait one second. Oh, yeah. Sometimes when you're on the beach, you just have to move your towel around until you find just the right place that you want to be. Boats. On the water. That, I think, is the ocean. There goes a rowboat. It's called a rowboat because the, the person has to make it move by using these things called oars. It's like a paddle. It's a lot of hard work to make a rowboat move. Here comes a sailboat sailing by. So the sailboat moves when the wind blows it. Wow, look. I think I would like to ride on a sailboat one day. There is a motorboat speeding through the waves. Hey, that kind, this kind of looks like a motorboat. Yeah. A Fireboat rushes to put out a fire. Whoa, that's new information for me. I didn't know that there's a fireboat. Look, the firemen are on the boat. A ferry boat carries people and cars. Okay, I have actually been on a ferry boat and it's really cool what you can do it two ways you can drive your car onto the boat and then you can get out and you can 
a sit at the top of the boat and look out the windows. I've done that before. That's really fun. And then sometimes you just uh, you just leave your car in the parking lot and you just get on the boat. That's really fun too. The water will kind of spray on your face when it's going through the water. Yeah, and the boat, it's fun. People are excited to be on it. It's not scary, I liked it. You can look over into the water, yeah. There goes a fishing boat out to sea. Oh, that's called the ocean. That's another word for ocean. Here comes a cruise ship. That might be the boat that your family got to ride on. Into the harbor. Oh look, they're gonna go get close to the land again. Here comes a tugboat to help the ship dock. That means to get it back over to the land so people can get off the boat. Oh, so this is like a tugboat. And it has a big job to do. It has to has to attach to the cruise ship and it pulls it. Oh, 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 oh. A tugboat has to work really hard. Here is the tug tugboat pushing and pulling. Wow. Hey, do you see which boat is smaller? Yeah, the tugboat is smaller. Which boat is larger. Which one is bigger? The cruise ship. Here is the ship. Look how big it is. At the dock. Here are the workers loading the ship. Oh, they're going to put um, things on the ship to take to another place so people can buy them or use them. Boats help us get things to grocery stores and brings things to us. Here are the people going on board. Okay, so they have to kind of go like on a little bridge, a ramp to get inside the big cruise ship. Wow. Here are the people waving goodbye. Goodbye, have a great trip. Look, they're excited. It's always so exciting when you go on a trip on a cruise ship. They're saying, bye, have a great trip. See you soon. Bring me back something special. <laughs> there goes the ship sailing away. Goodbye, ship. It went. Far, it's going to go far away in the water. The end. Guys, that was so fun. So when we were learning about ocean, we know now that animals live in the ocean and people can go to the beach and have fun in the sand and play games, have a picnic. And you can also get on a boat and go on a boat in the ocean. There's a lot of things you can do at the ocean. Guys, that's exciting. So today at your house, what if you pretended you were riding on a boat? You could pretend you're on a rowboat and you could row it. You could pretend that you're on a cruise ship and you're saying, bye everybody, be back. We're gonna come back on my vacation. See ya. Yeah. You could pretend you're driving a boat. So today, guys, just have fun pretending. You can uh, go back and watch our video some more, and you could pretend you're on each one of these boats. That would be fun. Wow, guys, have a great, great day of learning. I don't think Max wants to leave the beach. I think I'm just going to let him stay outside. Have fun, Max. Hey, guys, for Max and I, we're going to tell you, uh, check our schedule, and we're going to say reading our book is finished. Y'all have a great weekend. See you back on Monday. Bye, y'all.